What's up people and Nimbus? Welcome back to another part of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword walkthrough. I'm your host Silver Slate. In the last episode I got the fairy, fairy slingshot. Well actually I got a slingshot. Fairy slingshot I will with too much happening of time. And we found out that Zelda is actually going to a temple. Don't ask me why, but she's going to a temple. We are in a new area. Which we got by um, getting the slingshot, and now I, I was trying to ambush this enemy, but he was too fast. For me. Actually, he spots me, so I'll just do it like that. That works. Okay, so something up here. I guess. Hmm. There's actually stuff here. Oh boy. There are those ravens, and there's one of these, which I'll do like that. Oh, it's up here. I remember this. There is a blue rupee there. Can I get it? Well, in two shots again. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's go up here. There we go. And now let's go to that actual templeish place and use our slingshot to chase down Zelda because I wonder where she is. She, well, I don't really wonder where she is because she's in the temple. Or at least, if I believe the words of the uh, Kiku Elder. And hey, there's a lot here, saying it's down. Where does that lead to? Hmm. This is pretty early. Ah, well, we guess I'm just gonna go down here. And then just go up here. Or at least, I hope I'm going the right way. No! Why do I keep walking back? I don't want to go to the sealed grounds. I want to go to that actual place, that dungeon in the Paranormal Woods. It would be ironic if that's actually the Forest Temple or something like that. That would make me laugh really hard. Considering, you know, I believe, was it the Forest Temple in Twilight Princess in the Paranormal Woods? Or am I just mistaken? Like, I don't know. I haven't played too much of Twilight Princess. Even though Twilight Princess is a good game, I really love Skyward Sword a lot more. Like, it's so much different than the other Zelda's for some reason. Probably because of that upgrading system and stuff, and your shield having durability. And the ability to dash, like a boss. That's just amazing. So I'm just gonna go up here, here, collect a number of, another one of those um, Amber Relics. <clears throat> and let's just be trying to take this one out. Yeah, he defended that, but now he's done. There we go. I, yeah, I'm just gonna take this one out because those... Yeah, they pretty much deserve to die for sending him away. Now I just need to find where that actual palace was. Wait a minute, maybe I can use the map here. Where was it? Um, okay, that makes sense. Do I need... Yeah, I guess I need to go here. Go here. And down there, I believe. Just take a swim. Doesn't matter, does it? Yep. Oh yeah, there it is. I can see it in the distance. It's that accomplish. It was already suspicious whenever I saw it, but I never knew this actually leads to the dungeon. And I spot an enemy who's there. If he doesn't see me, he's pretty done. Yep, he's done. He did not see me. I love and I love attacking enemies from behind. But anyways. Up here, I can shoot that vine. And that's exactly what I need. Mean. Master Slate, now would be an excellent time to arm you with additional information regarding the use of your items. Oh. You should be aware that you can instantly ready the slingshot you used a moment ago by quickly tapping B. I knew that. If you experience difficulty aiming while using at any time, point the wing mode forward and press down on the D-pad to recenter your aim. Listen up with that. Wasn't told me earlier. Well, it doesn't matter. No, it does not. And up here we go. And hey, look at that. Five deck of seeds. They're ammo for my stun shots. Make sure you always get a few. Let's go in here. Or not. Or do I? Oh! What was that? Someone just magically disappeared there. Someone's been watching me. I don't like that. What is this place? Hmm. Wow. Oh. 
or well, just the top part of the um, farm was the deep woods. Interesting. Ah, this is really interesting. I have confirmed the planned life of this area matches that of Farron Woods. We've reached the area locally referred to as the Deep Woods. Now we should continue toward the temple in search of Zelda. Yes, we should. So we're in the de Deep Woods, and there... Oh, he has a horn. I hope it wasn't time to stop his horn, but I'm afraid it wasn't. Nope, it was not. Okay, that's two. And there's the other one. Really, three of them? A little more. Oh, those are bees. Rather not piss those bees off. I said don't! Ow! Don't piss those bees off. So. Oh, this is bee high. Rather not do anything with that so I can pretty much start. Oh, I could start running anyways. Bees are chasing me, bees are chasing me, bees are chasing me. Okay, that's better. So I just missed two. Yeah, look at that. There is another one of those who is just now done and over. Oh, not one of those. That's true. Are you? Get out. No! <laughs> they knocked me all the way down. Okay. Can I do something about those bees? Are you? Are you for real? Yeah, I should just. I gotta walk really carefully. Oh wait, no, 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 don't hit me again. Don't, no! <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna take a while. This is gonna take a while. You know what? I'm actually probably gonna do that. Okay. And there goes the high. I should have done that in the first place, but hey, look. I want to try if they did not attack me, but they did. So now I can walk over because those bees are deep down there where I fell like a few times already. Which is fine, you know, like... Trust me, I cannot even recall how many times I've fallen in different games. But okay. Hey, there's something up here. Why is this place leading everywhere? Like, wow. It's gonna be rather difficult to explore every single thing in this game. Hey, it's not a lot, so I can like create a shortcut behind the bees. There we go. Even though I'm not gonna visit the bees, since bees are not my friends in this game, sadly. Would be amazing if they were, but they're not. And there's another one of those dudes who are like done now. And is that a Goron up there? It seems like one. Oh boy. It's close. There we go. I'm getting more and more used to this game, but it doesn't really seem I can go there. So I guess I have to run up here? Um, I said run up there. There we go, that's better. There, two. I'll punch myself all the way there. Stamina fluid, really good. And down here. Hmm. Interesting place. Okay. Can I attack this one? In a advance before I can. Oh no, it stuns him. Okay, so. Like, I hope they. Hmm. Oh no, I am screwed, am I not? Yep. I figured out when I'll wait too late. Oh, this one is. Is someone chasing me? Like, really? Oh boy. Um, this is... Oh, there he goes. Oh, he fell all the way down. That's pretty sad. Okay, now I hope to be safe. Please tell me I'm safe. Yes, yes. Okay, now I have a walk. There we go, that was rather, um, difficult. It was so easy. Okay. I'm gonna avoid those. Ow. And there. I hope I make that. Just run and go for it! Ooh, that was rather close. 
and I made it. Really nice. Really nice. Now, did I see that correctly? Oh, well, hmm. this one is a little big for some reason. Where is it? Oh, this one is different. It's more aggressive and stuff. Did it void? Did it just try to avoid? It avoids my slash. Are you actually serious? What do I do with this one? Oh, it's just like give him some slashes. I guess he avoids the vertical slashes. Maybe I can like oh. Yeah, he avoids all vertical slashes. That's rather interesting. And there's actually a Goron here, so let me talk to this man. No, there's a face I know. Hey, bud. That's well, the same one from earlier. Did he have anything? Or No, he's just gonna be like, oh, this face is familiar. I'd rather talk with him anyways. I tell you, your timing could not have been better. Look here, I summoned one of these things just now that looks just like something I've seen in those ancient texts. It's a block. If I remember right, yep, this is one of the things the goddess was said to have left behind for the hero of legend. Pretty amazing, right? I even thought of a name for these things. I have been calling them goddess cubes. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Are you actually serious? Those ancient texts say some really interesting stuff about these things. How did it go again? Let me see. Uh, Summon forth a light from a heavenly blade. And may that sword master receive aid. So there you have it. Mm -hmm. I see you got yourself a sword there. What do you say we try and crack the mystery of this cube together? Well, I know already what to do, but... Thanks a billion, bud! I think I know what the deal is here. This cube is made of some sort of metal I've never seen. I rolled on it, but nothing happens. Mm. You know, bud, I would say the key to cracking this axe that one line. You know, the light from a heavenly blade? Yep, I know exactly what he means. So let me... Get the light and boom! Here we go! There's... What is that? It went up in the sky. Whoa! Did you see that? The cube just shot up and shot up into the sky. I think you reacted to the wordy beam thing that shot out your sword. Where do you think the cube shot off to anywho? This mystery just got a whole lot more uh, mysterious. The text say there are cubes like that on all over this land. Tell you what, you blast as many of those cubes as you can find. If you find out more about them along the way, you come see me. Okay, so I basically blasted the cube and it went to the sky. So I guess Skyloft has more information on that. Or at least so it seems. Okay, let me drop this log down here. And it would save myself some trouble. And now I can actually cross here. One, two, one. Oh, there's another one of those. I wonder what to do with that bag. Bam! There goes another one. And they shoot up to the sky too. I actually thought those were warp points, but I guess they are not. Master Slate, I've detected Zelda's aura emanating from within this structure. Okay, so Zelda's in here. Apparently. Or at least so it seems. However, I've also detected the presence of numerous monsters. Are you sure you want to proceed? Well, of course, I'm a hero, I got a blade. It would be very unwise to display overconfidence here. Within the walls of displays, no one will come to your aid. There's that statue again, and a trolley outside. <laughs> if you feel unprepared to face the dangerous ahead, consider returning to the sky to properly equip yourself. It would be wise to carry a shield to protect yourself, as well as a stack of potions to restore lost hearts. I already got that covered. Now we should continue the search for Zelda. Yep. But before I'm going to enter the dungeon and end this episode, I'm just gonna like... Walls behind this. Let's see if I can actually find something that's rather interesting. Okay, there's a fence here, and something that leads up here, which looks like the exact same place as the door, which is here, and it doesn't really seem to be here. Something is not. Nope, there is nothing here. So, okay, let's just enter this temple and see what we got into. The door is sealed shut. Oh boy. Can I like Skyrim strike this one? Okay, so that's not really the um, possible way to fix this. Maybe behind here, if I run up against this fence. No. Hmm. So the door is sealed shut. Hmm. I'll try shooting with a slingshot. Okay, I, do that too. I don't think it will do anything. But... Well, it gives me five rupees, which is still. Nice, but 
That's not really what I was looking for. So, yeah, I am... Wait. I'm gonna roll against this tree. I'm not gonna stop yet. There should be an easy, you know, way to... Maybe there's something up here which I'm missing? Oh, really? There's a crystal up there. I did not even notice that. Okay, let's do that better. There we go. I guess that's open store. Yep. That's open store. And there are blue mushrooms inside. Oh, this seems like a really sort of eerie place to go. It's really misty as well, so there is something down there. As confident as we are, we step in. The first actual dungeon of the game. Because it would be really weird if this is not an actual dungeon. This place looks incredible though. Skyview Temple. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the first temple of the game. And sadly as it is, you're going to have to wait until the next part before I start exploring this. Master, I have bad news. The hours of many creatures reverb Parades throughout this temple. Oh, well. <laughs> As a result, I can't isolate Sarah Zelda's aura. You will not be able to track her here. Given the situation, I suggest you look around to see where we should move next. Okay, so we get no hint system. Not that I was using that. But anyways, that concludes this episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I hope you all enjoy it. And in the next part, we are going to explore the Sky View Temple. I was not going to say Skyloft Temple. We're gonna explore the Skyview Temple and see if we can find any signs of Zelda. And I'm really excited for the first dungeon, and I hope you guys are too. So, until the next episode, this is Silver Slate, signing out.